Hi, my name is Anja, I'm 20. I am from Poland, but I moved to London last year when I was 19. I didn't know anybody there, I didn't have a job, I didn't have like an apartment, I didn't have absolutely anything, I just moved. And I had a lot of you know obstacles, but I did it anyway. I lived there for six months. I had the best adventures ever, and I think I will remember these months in my life until I die. And I met amazing people who actually changed my personality and changed how I think and how I am as a person, how I'm making decisions and what I think about my future. I wish this to anybody to open to new possibilities and to explore the world and I think this is so important for anybody who is considering whether to move away or not to move just to make the decision. At times it seemed really difficult and I didn't even know like how to start. I was talking to my friends and family and uh, my dad even called us like a Harry Potter plan because it just seems so you know silly really <laughs> but the point is just don't care about it and make it as easy and as fun as you can and I hope this channel will make it so for you. At times I wished like oh my god I want to go home so badly I would give anything to just go home for the weekend but yeah when you get one way ticket and you don't really have money to go back home for the weekend then you can't and you have to stay there where you wanted to stay but then after a few weeks of resistance and after a few months of actually like giving yourself a chance in this new place you can suddenly see that it's like so much more than you could ever imagine and it's so worth just trying I met one girl who moved from Spain and she uh, came she, uh, to the UK and she had you know um, a hotel room uh, booked for a week to look for an apartment. This poor girl, she actually moved, you know, you can imagine with huge suitcases and the hotel was shut down and actually she paid her money. However, she, you know, she found her way, like she went through it <laughs> and she found somewhere to stay. Like now she's just living in London. Uh, she is doing some internship, she's enjoying her time. So whatever really worse can happen, you can survive. I moved to London last year and then in January I moved to Berlin. So I already have two different experiences in moving abroad. And I think they are really cool and fun to share. I'm moving to Barcelona in a few months. Uh, this will be another great topic to talk about. I noticed that both in London and Berlin up uh, until three months you would just like hope you already know something about this place <laughs> but you actually don't and you get to know the you know, public transport few people and you think you're cool and fine <laughs> only after three months i think you really start to soak in the city like the pace and uh, you know how people are and you really can explore the country and the culture. One of uh, my like, mentors that I was doing an internship for, she was uh, she knows like nine languages and she always was using like culture and language as synonyms and I think this was so cool and so true. I love this concept that you can you know really use language and culture as one thing because it really is and you only give yourself a true chance in you know having experience of living abroad when you know the language if you move from a country that uh, where people don't speak you know english you really can give yourself a chance to improve your language skills you are suddenly open to so many books and movies that sometimes are not you know translated when i started to learn about self-development i realized that oh my god there's not so much content in polish and uh yes as uh, soon as i started improving my uh, english i actually had to do it to read the books i wanted to read and to watch the movies i wanted to watch also i love ted talks and usually the ones that i really wanted to see by the title and wanted to understand I just couldn't have them in Polish and this is so easy when you are in UK it's just like you go to the supermarket and you already are learning you can go to the Shakespeare's Globe uh, theatre and you know pay five pounds to stand um, 
<laughs> in the first row next to the stage and you watch you know, actors using this beautiful English grammar and it's just like two and a half hour lesson for five pounds in the theater and <laughs> how cool can it be? When uh, you want to learn English you can move abroad you don't really have to like, go for a course or anything you can just talk to people and you can just uh, become confident because I know maybe my, my you know, um, grammar or my pronunciation isn't always like perfect but at least I feel confident in my skills that I can go to anybody and talk to them not only about you know silly stuff or just small talk I can uh, talk about anything that inspires me and anything that I'm passionate about you can only do it by trying and you try with one person it doesn't work, <laughs> you try with another person, it doesn't work anyway, just try again. I was living in this huge house and we were talking every day, you know, in the living room. We had maybe two or three British people. We had like one girl from Vietnam, one girl from Italy, one girl from Germany, Spain. Everybody learns from each other, but also the British people who were in the house would, it could help us. I want to prepare like guides about moving to London and about moving to Berlin. What is it like? What really you can expect? And uh, either it's good or bad. And I want to make like um, you know, step by step on this channel, how you actually can do all this stupid shit, <laughs> sorry for the language, that you have to do anyway. Like, you know, like finding the flat or finding an internship, how the public transport works, and you have to know all of these things, really. But I didn't want to make the first video about it because it's not the most important thing. The most important part will be just you being there and really what's like after all this struggle and after all this you know silly stuff that's boring and it's just annoying to do this <laughs> especially for young people when we have our parents and family saying this is so stupid don't do it <laughs> having this kind of support even if it's only through you know a video yeah it will be really helpful to get encouraged and inspired I actually myself got encouraged and inspired from watching video videos and reading stuff on the internet so like nobody really told me yeah, this is a great idea maybe one friend and then when you actually do all this cool stuff everybody will say oh wow this was such a good idea like <laughs> yeah after after I went through all this horrible stuff and now this is amazing but you know you just have to do it. I hope uh, this can help somebody who is thinking should I move or should I stay home where it's comfortable and nice. I would love to create like a community of people who you know go for it, have an adventure but also have a struggle with it. I had a lot of fun making this video. Please subscribe to this channel, there will be lots of stuff here. All the boring stuff things that you don't really <laughs> want to know but I will try to make them as easy and fun as we can possibly make it and yeah just good luck with anything have a great time and uh, keep me uh, posted how is your adventure going bye thank you so much for watching I did this video already uh, twice in March and May Today is June. I just didn't upload them because they just felt so stiff. Like I was terrified just thinking about somebody will actually watch this. <laughs> What's the worst thing that can happen? Somebody will leave you a bad comment. And that's actually the worst that can happen to you. But I don't care, like I just I just feel sick of putting it off and off. I just don't like this energy. I need this to actually grow in life as a person I need to actually make a video and upload it whatever fucking video it will be 